Hi, this is pet dentist and oral surgeon Joe Banyard. In this video, we will look at Dexter's bite and then remove the inclined plane and assess how comfortable he is. I want to thank Dexter's owners very much for allowing me to share his story. Their generosity helps others. So when Dexter came in, we looked at his mouth and this is what we saw. We did not let him do a thing, so... He could see the gophers, but he couldn't run after them. He had that muzzle on, but he ate that thing. So here is the basket muzzle Dexter's family found for him. These muzzles are fabulous. And yes, the pets don't like to wear them, but they are the difference between success and failure. Dogs will be dogs, and they don't understand why they can't carry sticks, rocks, chew bones, and all that great stuff that will destroy the acrylic inclined plane in a second. So when your veterinary dentist recommends these, please use them. After the treatment is completed, you will not regret it. The muzzle is worn when Dexter is not eating it is not a tight fit. He can still pant and even drink water through the muzzle. So 23 days after the splint was created, the left lower canine tooth is sliding up into the outside of the upper jaw. And this is good. Do you see how red the gums are? Dexter's family took excellent care of the splint, cleaning and flushing it. But despite this, there is still going to be build up of debris between the splint and the palate and on the drive to see us they had to keep the windows open because there was a pretty bad smell. So Dexter was anesthetized. On the left image you can see that the splint was still in excellent shape thanks to his home care. After the splint was removed there was some inflammation around the teeth. Now this looks spectacular, but it's really not a big concern as the mouth heals very fast. In a couple of days, this inflammation is all gone. Splint removal also has to be done very carefully to avoid breaking teeth, so all pets need to be anesthetized to do this. So this is how the bite looked on the outside of the mouth after removal. On checking the bite when the mouth is closed, the tips of the lower canine teeth are on the outside of the upper jaw. That's where they should be. 16 days after the splint removal, his owners sent these photos to me. The position of the left and right canine teeth is good. Look at the little gum wrinkle on the left side. That is not perfect. 27 days after the splint removal, has the wrinkle gone? Well, it may be slightly less. So options were discussed on whether to do one of three things. We could do surgery or apply braces or allow this to slowly resolve with time. As Dexter was playing and eating without pain, his owners decided against further treatment and I am sure Dexter approved. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, like and share. Bye for now.